there's an open date in later March, we might use for the workshop here if it goes too long. But I texted her and said, I don't know what staff schedules are, but we could probably. Is it the 23rd or the 30th? No, but the city is not a board meeting right now. That's not what I meant then. I meant the 23rd, I think. There's an open workshop date, I think. Okay. Okay, I'd like to call to order the Ramsey County Regional Rail Authority. Roll call, please. Carter. Uh, I think you're on mute. Can't hear you. Hello? Carter? 
Tony, she's calling you. I, okay. a thumb up. I see a thumb up. Okay, thank you. Fretham? <laughs> Here. Maris Castillo? Here. McDonough? Here. McGuire? Reinhardt? Here. Ortega? Aye. I'll entertain a motion on the agenda of March 2nd, 2021. So moved. Second. And then no discussion, roll call. Uh, Commissioner Carter, do you want to try to touch the button on the side? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, McGuire? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. Fretham? Aye. Maris Castillo? Aye. McDonough? Aye. Ortega? Aye. I'll entertain a motion on the minutes from February 9th, 2021. So moved. moved. Second. Second. <laughs> Giving no discussion, roll call. McGuire? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. Fretham? Aye. Aye. Maris Castillo? Aye. McDonough? Aye. Ortega? Aye. I'll entertain a motion on the administrative item, uh, grant award from the Minnesota Department of Employment and Economic Development for a Minnesota Convention Center Relief Grant. Move approval. Second. Is there any discussion? See no discussion. Roll call, please. McGuire? Aye. Reinhardt? Aye. Carter? Aye. Fretham? Aye. Maris Castillo? Aye. McDonough? Aye. Ortega? Aye. Are there any corridor updates? Mr. Chair, yes. I do have an update regarding rush line. Go ahead, Victoria. Okay. Well, at last month's uh, policy advisory committee project staff gave an update on rush line BRT project and its expected eligibility for future federal funding. And so it was an exciting uh, meeting. Uh, based on the projects and estimated costs and ridership, financial plan, environmental and congestion relief benefits, and impacts on land use and economic development, the Rush Line project is expected to qualify for the Federal Transit Administration's Capital Investment Grants Program and be competitive with other projects around the country for funding. An official submittal to the Federal Transit Administration for the project uh, to be rated is still a couple years out, however. The capital investment grants program is extremely competitive, so it's great news that the Rush Line project is on track to qualify. As winter transitions to spring, the Rush Line project inches closer to another big milestone, the publication of the environmental assessment in May. The environmental assessment required by federal law is the culmination of the last three years of planning, design, technical analysis, and community engagement. The public will have the opportunity to comment on the document during the 45-day comment period that begins with publication in May. The document and associated technical reports will be available online and printed copies will also be available at several locations throughout the county. During the comment period, there will also be public hearings online and in person for members of the public to learn about the environmental assessment and provide comment. Thank you very much. Thank you, Victoria. And very similar, uh, Vivi Cordo had a meeting with the FDA uh, last week and uh, went over criteria for our program of work over the next two years and got the thumbs up and go ahead. Uh, so we're all in good shape. Uh, hearing no other updates, uh, we are adjourned. Thank you very much.